Hello everyone, my name is Jedi Andy and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to share a noob's experience of one of the more basic contracts in Star Citizen, as well as introduce you to, well, just how much of an idiot I can sometimes be. The contract I'm going to be showing is the Search for Missing Crew, in which you can earn up to 10,000 AUEC for finding a specified number of crew members at a crash site. So far, I've seen this vary between 5 and 8 crew members, with different amounts for each crew member. As you will see, I managed to make this a lot harder for myself than it has any right to be. So for this version, the crash site is on Daymar, and of course, because these aren't fixed locations, you can't jump straight to them with your quantum drive. The best approach is to jump to whatever the nearest fixed location is, and then just fly around the moon or planet in the direction of the marker. Just remember to slow down in time and make sure you're at an altitude where you can actually see the crash site. This version of the contract doesn't have any enemy NPCs, but other versions do. But I have only ever seen them inside wreckages, so unlike bunker missions, you don't need to land a certain distance away to avoid anything happening to your ship. At this stage, I begin to start looking around, gauging the layout of the site and the kind of locations I think I may find the bodies of the crew. You can see in the top middle that on this occasion there were just five to find, so pretty simple you'd think. I find the first body on the ground outside one of the broken hull segments, and it's at this stage you'd be forgiven for thinking I wasn't wearing my glasses. There, right in the centre of my view, as I look back up is a pair of legs sticking out of the rubble, and I turn and walk away. Don't worry, it gets worse. I try to enter the front section of what I believe is a freelancer, but for some reason this very normal size hatchway is inaccessible, but I do notice that there's a side door as well, so I proceed to walk back round to the port side of the wreckage. And once again, right in front of me are those legs, as clear as day, and somehow, don't ask me how, I manage again not to see them. I don't even go into the section at this point, noticing a third body in the sand a short way off the bow. I go search it and then walk back to the hatchway for a third time walking right past the poor guy half buried in the dust. Now I only stumbled across this when watching this recording back and at first I thought I'd managed to walk past this crew member just a couple of times. Oh how wrong I was. At this point I'm thinking this is going to be easy. Two crew members found in just the area around the front section which probably means the other three will be found within minutes. And to be fair, the other two actually were. So I head towards the mid and half sections of the wreckage, quickly finding body four, or as I thought, body three, by one of the flares. I then stay outside, checking around the wreckage to see if the next is also outside. But as I peer into the largest section, the final body is lying right there in the interior. I'm still thinking there's one more to find, but I'm in no hurry, checking around for boxes I can pick up and take away to sell for some extra credits, but I'm constantly looking out for body number five. I head back through the section close to the first body, and as I leave, I look straight ahead at the front, and although at first the legs aren't clear, I move closer briefly and still do not recognise them for what they are. I walk back in the other direction and even look inside the biggest section again, partly because all through this I can hear something glitching above me. I even start to check the bodies I have searched to make sure I search them properly, and that they counted. And yes, I'm starting to get confused and a little frustrated, ready to blame it on a glitch from the game being in alpha. I'm not too annoyed because I have at least made credits from the other four, but I'm not quite ready to give up on body number five. Again, I find myself back at the first body and once again those legs are plain as day, but apparently I've just thought they're a chunk of piping because I pay them no heed and walk in the wrong direction. 
Are you getting annoyed with me yet? If you are, let me know in the comments. Or if you too have played Star Citizen and found yourself completely missing the objective, or just generally getting yourself lost or confused, tell me some of your funniest stories. So now I'm beyond confused and decide I need to make sure I know which bodies I have 100% absolutely definitely already searched. So I whip out my multi-tool, easy tiger, and begin to use the tractor beam to place boxes next to each of the bodies I have found. I'm not willing to give in until I'm absolutely certain I've checked everything. No sooner have I placed a box by the body next to the fore section, I turn and look right at the buried body again and walk away. Don't worry. You don't need to rage much longer, despite me walking past it as I take this box to the frontmost body. If you aren't hating this video, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up. It's my first properly edited video, so please feel free to comment with any tips for future uploads. And let me know if there's anything in Star Citizen you would like to see me make future content about. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when those videos get uploaded. If you are looking to play Star Citizen, don't forget to use someone's referral code. Everyone who has an account has a code, including myself. And once you sign up yourself, you also get a code that you can share with other people. Entering a code will give you 5,000 UEC to spend in the Voyager Direct when the game goes live. And whenever one of my recruits becomes an active player by purchasing a game package with a minimum value of $40, I'll get a recruitment point and these points add up to unlock rewards. And as you all have your own code, you get the opportunity to earn those rewards as well. The code is in the bio and on screen. So I've had a good look around, I've placed four boxes, and I'm very close to giving up. I can still hear the box that's glitching and rattling in the aft section, and I genuinely am wondering if there's a way to get up there. I quickly find that there isn't, even though I try to jump on the gun to the side to climb and jump across the gap between sections. By now, I've pretty much given up, so I decide to start moving all the boxes towards my Titan ready for departure. Believe it or not, throughout this whole process, I am looking, but clearly, like Anakin, I'm too blinded by the sand to see what's in front of me. I hate it, it's coarse, rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere, including my eyes, apparently. One final walk around the bow of the ship, and then, at last, I actually do a double take with the mouse as I realise what that is in the ground. I scan the body, get my final credits, and collect my loot, ready to head back to poor Olisar. So, thank you all for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Or, at least, I hope you didn't scream too often at the screen for me to uninstall the game. You can find me on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30pm UK time and one day at the weekend, usually from 5pm. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are in the bio below. But until next time, have a safe and prosperous journey through the verse.